While the latest versions of VLC Media Player tend to work fairly well out of the box for the average computer, you may need to adjust a few things to get the most out of your experience. So if you're running on cutting edge hardware or on some stuff a few years old, here's what you can do. To start, you'll want to ensure you've got the latest version running on your system. You can do this once you have it open by clicking on Help on the top menu, then selecting Check for Updates. Once you're sure your app is up to date, you'll need to open your full app settings in Menu. Open VLC, then click on Tools near the top of the window. Select Preferences. On the Preferences window that pops up, set Show Settings at the bottom left corner to All to see all of your settings. For improved sound quality, click on the Audio tab from the menu on the left. Set Force Detection of Dolby Surround to On, then set Stereo Audio Output Mode to Dolby Surround. Once that's done, click on the arrow next to Audio Resampler to show more options. From here, click on Speaks Resampler and set Resampling Quality to 10. Once that's done, click on SRC Resampler from the menu and set Sample Rate Converter Type to Sync Function Best Quality. If you've got average to higher end hardware, click on the Filters tab under Video and click on the box next to GradFun Video Filter. After that, click on the arrow next to Filters and click on SW Scale. From here, set Scaling Mode to Sync R using the drop-down menu. For a general improvement in video quality, click on the Input slash Codex tab and set File Caching to 1000 milliseconds or higher. Once that's done, click on Video Codex, select FFMPEG, and set Threads to 2 or 4. If you're using VLC on a lower end or older laptop, deselecting Direct Rendering and Show Corrupted Frames may improve your viewing experience. After that, click on the Video tab and ensure that Drop Late Frames and Skip Frames are enabled. At this point, you can save all the changes you've made so far by clicking on Save at the bottom of the Settings window. If you're still having playback issues with certain video files after making these changes, open your Simple Preferences window and click on Video. Click on the drop-down menu next to Output and select Open GL Video Output or Open GL Video Output for Windows, then click Save. If that still doesn't work, you can try sacrificing a bit of quality for some playback smoothness. Open your Simple Preferences window again and click on Input forward slash Codex. Turn off Video Quality Post Processing by setting it from 6 to 0. Then set Skip H.264 In-Loop Deblocking Filter to All. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering VLC and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these other videos we think you might enjoy.